Steve, let me start with you. Uh, you know, you're in a no growth category. People say Papa John's is behind on technology and your former CEO seems to have alienated a key constituency in your uh, pizza eating population. So what are you going to do to change that? Well, thank, first off, David, thanks for having us here. Right? It's great to be here. So uh, exciting day for the brain yesterday. So $200 million investment. Uh, I had a great new partner with Starboard Value and Jeff Smith as new chairman of the board. Uh, I got to tell you, I've been here the brand for 22 years. Started out as a uh, delivery driver for six bucks an hour. So, this investment and this opportunity really gives us an opportunity to, to focus on what's most important. Uh, and I started 22 years ago, and I realized there was two key things uh, that are most important and unique about the brand. One is our people and our culture. So, the opportunity to really focus on transforming the culture of the brand. But what really struck me the most, uh, my first day with the brand, is quality. We are the differentiated player in the category. And there's something really different about what we do at Papa John's that, frankly, I think there's more to the story that we need to tell to consumers. Uh, many people don't know that we have fresh, never frozen, original crust dough that's six simple ingredients. Uh, folks don't know, and that's different than what the other folks do. Folks don't realize that we use uh, vine ripened tomatoes that go from the vine to the can from the Central Valley in California. All of our tomatoes around the world are grown there. Uh, and other folks will use packed. Uh, not, not packed, but uh, concentrated tomatoes. So this unique quality story is certainly one that we want to leverage this new partnership with Jeff and really advance the company. All right. Uh, I'm getting hungry, but none of that is going to translate necessarily into selling more pizza. What, what, what's your role here, Jeff? What are you going to do to help him execute on some of the goals he just laid out? Yeah, David, pizza is fun, and it's about getting back to fun and making it fun again inside the company for us. This is a partnership with Steve and with the board, and you know we approached the company and said we want to get involved, we want to help, we want why? to provide leadership. Why? Did you, why did you approach the company? What was about it that you saw was an opportunity for Starboard potentially profit? Well, obviously, you know I'll, I'll echo what Steve just said. I think it's the best quality pizza in the category. So starting with the best product in the category is always a good thing. Now they've lost their way a little bit, not just in terms of image, but also in terms of messaging. We can come back in, we can get our customers back, and we can get them to come back and, and appreciate the brand. Better ingredients, better pizza is a good thing. We did a lot of taste tests inside of Starboard. The diligence was fun. Um, I really enjoy the pizza and really believe it's, it's the best. So that's where you want to go. We got to go back to talking about how much fun pizza is and how great the product is. Uh, I can order a pizza on Domino's app very easily, track the whole thing. Many say you guys are behind in technology. Are you going to change that? So we've, uh, we were the pioneer. We were the first to launch national online ordering back in 2001. Uh, we're still very proud of all of our technology systems today. We're going to continue to focus and invest in the customer experience. Uh, we also were the first to launch a uh, national loyalty program in the category. Uh, and we just refreshed, uh, launched a new loyalty program, which we believe is now best in class. Uh, where consumers have the, the flexibility to buy whatever product they want at Papa John's. So you don't so, feel like you're behind at all, those who would say, well, you've got you've to spend more money. There's uh, no doubt that, we, David, we've got to get better. Uh, and we're going to continue to invest in the areas of, of product and technology and people. Uh, we know that we need to improve the unit economics for our franchisees. But at the end of the day, we are a company that's differentiated by our product. So I'm really pleased to say we're getting ready to launch a, a line of six new specialty pizzas coming up next month. Uh, we're getting ready to really expand and think about menu variety. We're going to focus in on premium ingredients. So a lot of those investments are going to be in, into that area. We're, we're really excited about that. Um, many of us who know you well look back at Darden. Of course, the success you had there as an invet with an investment and, uh, and obviously with all the board members you put on there. Is there a similarity here, Jeff, in terms of the approach that you're taking with Papa John's as you did with Darden? It's actually really similar. So uh, let's not focus on all of Darden, but really on Olive Garden, because Olive Garden was the struggling brand inside of Darden. And at the time, people don't remember now, because Olive Garden's doing so well. Gene Lee is the CEO, has done a terrific job. Um, Olive Garden's doing really well. But at the time we made the investment, Olive Garden was really struggling. Olive Garden was a chain that people were talking about where the, um, it was a dying brand. Their, their customers were getting older. Um, and what could be done to reinvigorate. I remember talking about it at the time we made the investment and people were saying things like that. We got involved and really focused on the positives, focused on the competitive advantages and really built up the quality and most importantly, the customer experience, the guest experience. We're gonna do the same thing here, you know, in partnership with the company, in partnership with Steve. We believe the same opportunity exists. The quality is terrific. We have to focus on the competitive advantages 
and the customer experience. And the customer experience in pizza isn't just about the quality of the pizza, which you were talking about before, David. It's also about the whole experience. How do you order? How do you get it delivered? How do you have the whole experience and make it better? We're really excited about it. Actually, I mean, I think you guys and, and Jim were talking about the technology at, at Domino's. You know, their promotion right now is terrific. It's a terrific opportunity. It's a terrific opportunity as a de facto co-promotion for us. They're out there for the next six weeks saying, go buy a different pizza and they'll give you rewards. So that's wonderful. We're loving that. Invite the, the customers back to Papa John's. If you buy Domino's pizza, you just get Domino's rewards. Right now, if you come to Papa John's and you come back to our pizza, you get our you pizza, get both, our right. rewards, and their rewards, and they just get the picture, which is wonderful. Steve, uh, did you guys try and sell the company and fail to do so? No, you know, we had a, uh, it was been a robust process, so we had a very comprehensive strategic review process. Started September of last year, the independent directors of the board i.e. the special committee, uh, you know, we looked at all options. It was a wide range of options and, you know, back to what we were just, Jeff was just talking about, the Olive Garden deal there, but there's a number of other consumer-facing brands that Starboard was involved in. So we, we found the right financial resources to give us flexibility, but frankly, even more importantly, was those intangible values of leadership that has got experience in turnaround brands. Obviously, well, we're, in, we're in a moment of, of distress here. It's been a difficult year for the brand, but we yeah. know we got the plan to do the right things to move forward and brought on new leadership and an additional director also with Anthony uh, that's got 30 years of experience with consumer brands. Uh, Mr. Schnatter's still a 26% holder, roughly, I think, with the dilution from this convertible deal. Um, and he likes to talk, and he doesn't want to be ignored. Is he going to be a continued problem for the brand? You know, I think what we want to focus on is obviously what's doing the best interest of, of the stakeholders I talked about, our team members, our franchisees, our customers. Well, have you talked to him? Has he agreed to that he's happy, or is he going to sort of start yelling and screaming about things, potentially That's continue true. to alienate customers? So, as you stated, John's a very large shareholder with the brand, and, and the decision that we arrived at was to do what's in the best interest of our shareholders and all stakeholders. So, obviously, we believe that uh, he's going to benefit from that as we, we start he to believe the, for, the brand forward. Does he believe it? John believes in the core values of the brand that I talked about on quality and people. So I certainly would not question that. And obviously, we, we're very hopeful that we can bring John along. It's a journey. All right. Now it's time to talk Bristol Myers. You're here. Um, do you own the stock? I'm talking about pizza, right? Are no, we we're talking you, about pizza? I've given you plenty of time <laughs> to discuss it and happy that we have. Do you own uh, Bristol Myers? I am not going to discuss Bristol Myers. Com today. You can't not discuss Bristol Myers with me here, Jeff, for well, this I, moment. I I've just given you 10 minutes to talk pizza. We love talking pizza. We've got. Is fun. Do you own Bristol Myers? We and are so certainly why. interested in the story at Bristol Myers. Uh, did you nominate any directors for the board? I'm not going to discuss that right now. Uh, why would you own Bristol Myers? Would you do you not like the Celgene deal? Well, let me let me go back and, and talk more broadly. Maybe. Okay. Um, so our job, we believe our job is to represent the best interest of shareholders. So we look at lots of situations and we get lots of calls from shareholders who may be upset with things that are going on at different companies. We evaluate those situations to try and determine whether we can have a positive impact in representing the best interests of those shareholders. And Bristol Myers might fit that, that profile. But it might not. It might not fit that profile. We haven't made that decision. If we make that decision, I'll tell you what, I will come on and talk to you about it. Well, you'll want to come on and talk to me about it because it'll be an uphill climb, it would seem conceivably to defeat a deal, the vote on which is coming up very soon, which is why many people wonder why you would own it if you really were trying to deep beat down the Celgene deal, unless you just like Bristol Myers. I think we'll have to talk about it at a later date. 